I'm a piano as a lifestyle. Where does it come from? South Africa as well. We are good in South Africa. <laughs> it's chill, but it's also dope. And it's a genre that comes from South Africa, made by South Africans. It's kind of like a prayer without it being a prayer. Anybody can make it, especially from where we come from, you know? My piano to the world, it's taking all over the world. En 2020, alors que le monde entier était confiné, un nouveau genre musical né d'Afrique du Sud a explosé à l'international. C'est la Mapiano. Ce mélange de deep house, de jazz et de percussions traditionnelles a fait irruption sur nos écrans à travers des challenges TikTok et des live YouTube. Comme la pop nigériane, l'afrobeats, la Mapiano est devenue du jour au lendemain une musique globale, dont on reconnaît facilement les sonorités et la danse, mais dont on connaît moins le sens. J'ai voulu comprendre la signification de cette musique venue des townships sud-africains, qui est profondément liée à la spiritualité et à l'histoire du pays. Je vais te montrer un step, c'est un step à Zulu, c'est mon culture, c'est mon tribe. Je suis d'abord allée rencontrer la danseuse sud-africaine Andy de la Mini. Elle donne des cours à Paris. Parce que l'ama piano aujourd'hui, c'est des chorégraphies très codifiées qui sont aussi populaires que les sons qu'elles accompagnent. In a majority of the tribes in South Africa, it's really appealing for when a woman is dancing to have a charm in her face. It's not even about the body, just the charm. And I think this, we've, we've taken that essence and put it in our piano. Because when we dance, I don't know if you've noticed, but we always have this kind of confidence and we have this, you know, this kind of look like, you know, that kind of vibe. We get it from the traditional dancers and how a woman should be confident and how people should be confident in general. Just do it and you close your eyes or you look up and you make a crazy face and you do the chest. So it's just like a move to be silly, just to be silly and be in a vibe. So I feel like I have like a wide spectrum. I have these teenagers, pre, pre-teen, pre-adolescent. So it's like a really mix of like yeah. all ages. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in South Africa, You know, there's, there's people who believe in spirituality, in ancestors, and some of those people do music. They create songs. There's one by Gabza the Small, Eningi. It means a lot. So what he's talking about in the song is like, he's asking God, the higher power, I also want to have a lot of money. I also want to be successful. I am asking for the strength that I need to fulfill my path. You gave me this idea and now I need you to like get me to that point. So some people sing about God, some people sing about ancestors, some people sing about the universe, higher power, they don't really mention who it is. Andy m'expliquait que les chorégraphies comme les paroles font référence au quotidien dans les quartiers pauvres Bonsoir. où la population est essentiellement noire même après l'apartheid. Ça parle souvent de manque d'argent, mais toujours avec humour. I'm gonna give you guys les traductions, comme ça, pour connecter avec la musique un petit peu mieux. La musique, ça dit que j'ai pas beaucoup de l'argent, ok? J'ai pas de champagne, j'ai pas de budget pour le champagne. I don't have Don Perignon, Ace of Spades, Moet Chandon. I don't have it, mais Heineken. I have it, I have the money for Heineken. So I'm just gonna henke, 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 Ace of Spades, Okay, so the girl is just talking about taking it back 
too basic. If you have your lunettes, put your lunettes. I want to see something. Amaviano is a social style. It's a style that we use to share and to connect with others. It's a practice that we we dance this thing together at social events or to socialize with other people. So at weddings, birthday parties, during our breaks, um, during school studying, just a way to, to be happy in the moment and share. Dance helps me to like stop being shy. It's easier to just say what I want to say with my dance. I can be who I really, really, really want to be and really, really have fun. Yeah. Musicalement, un des trucs marquants de la Mapiano, c'est que malgré son tempo très tranquille, c'est vraiment une musique de fête. Parce qu'on mélange de la deep house à du quaito. Le quaito, c'était un peu une révolution. Le hip-hop sud-africain qui est né juste après la fin de l'apartheid en 1994 dans les quartiers défavorisés des grandes villes. C'était une manière de fêter la liberté. Un nouveau gouvernement. Alors on a commencé à chanter à propos de tout et de n'importe quoi, à propos des fêtes, des filles et des belles voitures, parce qu'on pouvait enfin conduire. Je suis parti voir Siba, un DJ sud-africain installé à Paris depuis 8 ans, pour mieux comprendre comment le Kwaito a inspiré la Mapiano. On Kwaito, we have the way the way this girl is singing right now. As a producer, like we took that and yeah. then we, we went to Deep House, because mm -hmm. Deep House is more like slow in tempo. We need something special to make it more unique. So that's when now we added the lock drum. Lock drum is this sound. It's like a bass, la a bass line and the momentum of the sound. So it's the one that is hitting and giving like the momentum, you know. But what does it so, sound like? So it's like the hard. <coughs> you can recognize it with the BPM, first of all, tempo. Yeah. This one is one, uh, almost 120 BPM. Okay. Now I'll play 113 okay. to tell the difference. That's my piano. <laughs> Can you tell? Yeah. The way it's so slow and... Yeah. Uh, there we were like, one, two, three. Here it's tum, 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 tum. The counts are yeah. different. <laughs> Alors que le Kwaito était créé pour et par des Sud-Africains des années 90, une nouvelle génération de DJ créé l'Ama Piano dans les années 2010. Il paraît qu'au départ, le mot Ama Piano était péjoratif, comme un jeu de mots pour se moquer de la monotonie de cette musique. Ama, c'est quelque chose comme beaucoup, c'est un Zulu mot en fait. Et puis après, vous avez fait avec piano, as in like the normal piano. Ça veut dire beaucoup de piano. Oui. <rire> Mais aujourd'hui, alors qu'on entend cette musique partout, Siba me dit que certains DJ étrangers ont tendance à la dénaturer. I go to the club, I hear like the, the, the sound sound not exactly like the original one. So most of them they don't respect the bass. Okay. They 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 want they want some piano to be more like faster than the original BPM. But as long as they they know where it comes from and they know the culture about it. It's, it's very important, you know, because mm. for us it's important, like, mm -hmm. as well, like, it's not just a piano. Mm. In Zulu, there's some words that are really touching, you know, for us, because... Yeah, it's deeply rooted. It's deep, yeah, you understand, yeah. so... Yeah. A piano is a new sound that can relate or connect to the new generation, but not so far from the old generation as well, so it can connect to any uh, South African or right now it connects to everybody. Else. So it contributed to really put South Africa into the map. So that's what I'm proud of. Thank you, man.
La Mapiano, c'est une musique dans laquelle les artistes ne sont pas forcément starifiés, même si on joue leur composition partout, à quelques exceptions près, dont Camompella. On l'appelle la reine de la Mapiano. Elle s'est d'abord fait connaître en tant que danseuse. One, two, three, four, five. I personally adore Camompella. She's a pioneer, she's a woman in Amapiano, and she's one of the people who mix Amapiano music with the dance. Dali, Dali c'est son morceau le plus connu. Mais ce qui fait la particularité de Camompella sur la scène Amapiano, c'est d'avoir créé des pas repris par tout le monde, comme le Pouncing Cat. Elle a grandi à Soweto, un bidonville dans le sud de Johannesburg où cette musique s'est développée. Et ce soir, elle se produit ici. Je l'ai retrouvée en répétition avant son concert avec ses danseurs. J'ai découvert que piano en 2017. Je ne dirais pas d'où je suis originaire piano. Originates from. Because obviously all of us are trying to take credit for it back at home. Uh, some people say Alex, some people say Soero. There's just different pockets that people obviously want to give credit to. I went viral only in 2019 because it started having a lot of vocalists on it. And then that's when I also started becoming one of the leading vocalists in 2019. Quelques mois plus tard, on lui propose de participer à la bande originale de Black Panther 2, Wakanda Forever. C'est là que Camo Mpela est propulsée en tant que chanteuse sur la scène internationale. The Black Panther production team wanted me on the soundtrack, so they flew us to Nigeria, myself, Young Stana and Devin Gogo, to record the song there. Yeah, and basically we just came together in studio. We were there for like two days. And we recorded like four tracks. And out of the four, three were chosen. It's obviously going to mean the world to me because it's it legit changed my life. I mean, I went from a normal Soweto girl, township girl, into a global superstar. We never thought it would get this big, to be quite honest, yeah. I think for now, I'm not where I want to be, so I'm still good, I'm still good. Not Beyonce per se, but yeah, somewhere along those lines, legends, you know? Si je me suis intéressée à la Mapiano, c'est parce qu'on a tendance à entendre de nouvelles musiques sans vraiment les écouter. Mais ces mouvements culturels viennent avec une histoire et un contexte qui nous transmet aussi quelque chose du lieu où ils sont nés. Les artistes que j'ai rencontrés au cours de ce reportage sont aussi hyper fiers que l'Afrique du Sud brille à travers ces nouvelles scènes, mais ils veulent aussi qu'on comprenne la puissance spirituelle qu'elle comporte et qu'on prenne le temps d'en ressentir les pulsations. Amapiano is a lifestyle came about when it started going viral. People started saying that and I think they said it to protect the essence of the fact that it's not just a trend. It means that this is something that you listen to even when you're not dancing. It means that this is something that you learn, like a dance move that you learn and not forget that there's, there's more where that came from. 